Hi guys, it's Danielle again and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm bringing you a first impressions on a few new items that I recently bought. So I already uploaded a haul where I showed you what I bought and why. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do and I'll link it up wherever it belongs here. So yeah guys, this is just going to be testing those products and I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, please remember to give me a thumbs up. It really does help. Make sure you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Like that would be very appreciated and let's get started i'm gonna do my eyes first just because i've got a glitter eyeshadow to use and i don't want to have any fallout so let's do the eyes first recently i've been really really enjoying using this this is the Too faced shadow insurance anti-crease eyeshadow primer so i am going to go in with concealer first but i'm only going to use the tiniest tiniest bit so the concealer that I just used was my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. And now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This actually has like a tone to it. So it's kind of similar to my skin tone actually. But it doesn't really have a lot of coverage. So this is why I like to use a little bit of concealer just on top or under should I say. Okay so now for the eyes. The item that I'm probably the most excited about trying is this this is the hourglass scattered light glitter eyeshadow i've got the color foil and it looks stunning i'm very excited um this is hella expensive hella bougie so this is what the color actually looks like hopefully you'll be able to see it and the reason why i bought this color is just because i'm more likely to use this color rather than like greens or maroons and stuff so i just thought i'd buy a colour that I know I will use up and just to let you know my voice is so annoying I know that I'm coming out of being really really sick I'm still like coughing and feeling sick a little bit and I definitely sound sick but I just wanted to film I was getting annoyed not filming and not uploading so I just thought do you know what I'm not too bad today let me just film so obviously I need to do my eyeshadow because I'm going to use glitter. So because it's like very autumn kind of weather, I'm wearing like a very autumnal, autumnal, autumn, I don't know how to say that word. I'm wearing like an autumn kind of top. So I think I'm going to go quite autumn-y. What am I saying? I'm sick, okay? I'm going to blame, I'm going to brain. I'm going to blame my brain on being sick. So, I think I'm actually going to go in with a mixture of the Desi and Katie Frankation palette and the Dream Street palette by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. So, I'm going to start off with this colour here. I believe this is Shooting Star. So, I'm going to pick that one up and just put it in my crease. This Shooting Star colour is actually really, really nice to, like, build with. It's a, just a really nice transition. And I actually really like dipping into this palette because of that colour. So, I'm kind of just doing, like, a messy eyeshadow look for now. I kind of want to go a little bit grungy. Now I'm going to go in with the Frankation palette and I'm going to go in with the colour Necessary, which is that really nice like transition shade. And it's very similar to this, it's just less like warm I would say. Just by adding that colour here, I'm creating a little bit more depth. I'm just going to go back in with Shooting Star and just blend out the edges a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see but I went in with this colour here which is Necessary and now I'm going with Churro here. And Chura is such a lovely, warm shade. It's a delicious shade. So I'm just going to go in with that colour. And I'm just going to take this into my crease. I'm literally just building up this colour very slowly because this palette is extremely pigmented. So now I'm going to go in with the colour Cheens, which is the darker brown in this palette here. So this one here. So I'm going to take this colour and take it on a small, denser brush and just kind of work this into the outer view but really slowly because this will go dark real soon real quick and obviously once i have the glitter i can also go back and intensify it a little bit more if i want to now with a clean brush i'll just go over the edges and then i'm going to go back in with the color shooting star from the dream street palette so i'm just going over the edges just to make sure that color is still there so now i'm going back in with the color churro just to make sure that's still there as well. Just so it's not like all light and then dark. Just so there's some variation of colour. So I actually like how this eye look is coming out. And I want to leave it like this for now. I want to go in with that Hourglass Glitter Eyeshadow. I'm going to use my fingers first. And let's see how it works with just my fingers. Oh, feels really good. 
bitch. I was expecting it to be pigmented, but that's got like full on dimension. Oh, wow. Not as much fallout as I expected, to be honest. Like, I thought there was going to be a ton of fallout. This looks so good. Now with a flat brush, I'm just going to pick some up and just take it into the corner that I couldn't reach with my finger. Oh my god. I don't know if you can tell, but it's so pretty. My lids literally look wet. Like, oh, what? Now I'm just going to go in with the colour cheese just to blend out the edges a little bit. Wow, 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 wow. That colour looks stunning. Thanks so much, Samantha. She recommended this, so I'm so happy I got it. Honestly, our class just effing kills it. This looks so nice. Wow, 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 wow. I really like this. So now that I've done this eye, I'm going to go off camera do this eye and then I'll come back and do mascara review because I have a new mascara to test. I just want to mention that this glitter eyeshadow, you need the tiniest bit to make an impact. Like literally a tap and you'll make a massive impact. So I feel like, yes, this was £26, but I don't know if I'll use this up. Like it's so, so like just intense. But obviously I will use it up, but like, I don't know if I'll get through it really quickly. Okay, so now for mascara, I'm going to use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. This is what the brush looks like. So, let's try this on. So this is an extremely wet formula, but it separates your lashes so well. I don't know if it's doing anything for length, or like a lot for volume, but my lashes look very, very like, evenly coated and separated. I'm really surprised. I didn't expect it to be like this. So far, I do actually like it. Obviously, I need to wear it and see if it flakes and stuff. I feel like with this mascara, if I was to build up any more, it could get clumpy really quickly. But I'm going to let this dry and then I might come back and build it up a little bit more. But so far, I'm not mad. Okay, so now for primer, I'm going to go in with the Milk Hydro grip primer okay so this is what the packaging looks like i'm so excited to try this so i meant to put this on and leave it on for a minute to like let it sink into my skin so i'm just going to go in with one pump smells like herbally it's not like really thick it definitely like dries down okay it's getting like tacky okay so for foundation i've got a few like sachets and samples to try so I'm going to just try it on today and see how they are. So I'm going to actually go in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I got the colour vanilla. I don't know if this is my colour or not. So I'm going to put this. Oh, wow. Very liquidy. Oh, my God. I did not expect it to be that liquidy. I was not meant to put it on my face yet. Wow, this is super liquidy. I don't know if I've just put in too much or not. I'm just going to blend this out with a beauty blender. The colour seems all right, actually. So this is the foundation so far. So it says that it's medium to full coverage, like it's a buildable foundation, which I would say, yes, it is like a buildable foundation. I did build up more coverage on my cheeks, but it's still not like mask full coverage look. I would say that this has got more of like a satin finish. It's definitely not like matte matte and it's definitely not like super, super dewy either. Okay. Not bad so far, I need to tighten my hair. Obviously, I'm going to wear this for a couple hours and see how it looks in a couple hours, like when I get oily, will it really settle into fine lines and stuff. So now for concealer, this is also a product that I am super excited about. So the concealer that I'm going to use today is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. And this is in the colour Custard. I think this colour is going to be too dark for me or just like not light enough for me to highlight with, but it is what it is so this is what it looks like i know that kathleen really likes this concealer i believe custard is the color that she uses but i feel like she's probably like my color but i actually don't think she is i think she might be a little bit darker than me but kathleen loves this concealer however kathleen has a drier skin than me i am an oil slick so let's see if it works for me so let's put this on oh the color might not be too bad all right i'm just gonna put that on because I don't know how to work with this. I don't know if I should let this dry a little bit or not, because like I usually do. I'm just gonna blend this out. Wow, that blends so well. All right, let's see coverage. In my underwear. Oh, 
really good coverage actually. Wow, wow, wow. Wow! Okay, I like this concealer. I know I've literally just put it on. Obviously guys, please keep in mind that everything I'm using now, and um, everything I'm saying now is like my first impressions. And obviously in the future, in other videos, I'll tell you like, oh my God, I really like this. Or I really don't like this. Obviously you can still see some of my darkness around my mouth and my eyes, like under my eyes. But I don't have a corrector either. So like, if I had a corrector, would it look even better? And it doesn't look creepy at all. It is creasing. But once I kind of blend out the creases, then set it, I'm really hoping it doesn't crease because that's when I know if I like a concealer or don't. Now for cream contour, I don't have anything that's like high end, but I've got this. This is the Aldi Radiant Concealer. I bought this a while back, but I just haven't used it because I wanted to try it on camera. So I'm going to start off with that much just because I don't know how pigmented this is. I really hope this doesn't ruin my base because I've got a good base going on. I like the colour. It's drying down really nicely. That colour is very nice, like really natural, like it doesn't look like I put a lot of bronzer on. So now I'm just going to set my concealer with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, so the next product I'm going to use is already out of the box. I've used this already and I really like this. This is the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC15. I really, really like this. I think it does work very well on my skin. So I'm just going to put this where I need a little bit more coverage because this does have coverage. So the next product that was mentioned in the haul was the Fenty Bronzer. I've used this. I actually really, really like this. You can tell that I've used it because the F and the B are kind of like fading away. Is it like every other powder? Yes. It's not like out of this world amazing, don't get me wrong. I love the colour. The colour that I have is Shady Biz. Okay, so the next product is this. I don't want to blind you guys. So this is a MAC product. So I bought this from TK Maxx. And this looks like this. So it has a bronzer, a blush and a highlight. I'm going to use the bronzer. I know I've put a lot of bronzer on already. I'm going to put some more on. I love bronzer. I don't know what it is. Like, I really, really like bronzer. I go in with, like, three bronzers. A bitch shouldn't be using that much, but a bitch loves the bronzer. Okay, so now for blush. I don't want to go in with this colour, but I'm going to. I'm just going to pick some up and put some on. Oh, it's a nice colour, actually. I like this so far. Like, it's not dusty at all, and it's got, like, a really nice sheen as well. Mmm. A little bit of bronzer on the nose, act like you've been out in the cold and you got a cold nose. Okay. What the fuck? Now for highlight, I'm going to go in with this highlight, obviously. And I'm going to put this on my nose, on my cupid's bow and in my inner corner. It's a nice highlight. I thought it was going to be really, like, pinky, but it's not actually pinky. So now the last product is this. This is the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to put some on my eyebrows and see how this works. Hopefully I like it. This is just a clear brow gel. But I actually like it. It's combing my brushes, my hairs really well. And it's not like a normal brush. It's got brushes on. It's flat and then it's got brushes that way and then that way. But it's like longer side and shorter side. The shorter side bristles is actually nice for the front of your brows. As you can see, I've done the rest of my makeup. I've done my lips, I've done my lower lash line. And I also add mascara to this lash here because I wanted to show you the difference in mascara and no mascara. So this is just one literal layer of mascara and it's come out really nice. I'm actually shook. Okay guys, so this is the final look. This is the look that I created using a lot of new stuff that I've never tried before. I am shook. I literally like everything. I'm very happy I did because obviously I paid for everything myself. And obviously this stuff wasn't cheap. So I'm very happy that I liked it. I will keep you updated on these products in future videos. If you did like this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.